Today, we are in a bag of milk, in a bag of milk. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> oh yeah, a little player. A new one. <gasps> Ooh, circle. Tunnel. Write down your name. Okay. Oh, what's my name again? I forgot. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, hey, it's up here. Clown. <laughs> there we go. I'm on my way to the store. Re rehearsing the speech. Yeah, no, this is probably a good spot to go. <laughs> I haven't been out for so long that I have that I've forgotten what words they were, uh, words they say when they enter the store. I'm on my way to the store. Who are you talking to? Shut up and go. I imagine being a game character. What if it helps you gather my thoughts? Oh, what if it helps to gather? What game? Or dot dot dot. Well, you know. There are games in which you can see characters, thoughts, right on the screen, you know. So I thought, if someone reads my thoughts, then I have to be really concentrated so as to not Whip up the extra. Haha. <laughs> Wait, is that what it says? There's something over it on my screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm deeply breathing in. Hello, can I. Damn it, I forgot. 19th attempt, and I'm failing again. I bite my lips with annoyance. So, once again. Hello, can I get... Wow, a whole word more. Thank you, I'm trying really hard. In my opinion, it, this, th this time the L sound was longer than usual. Do you think this is it? Who knows? Hello, can I? Ugh. I better keep my lips sealed. <laughs> loser, now I'm gonna... Okay. Oh, by the way, you have been walking with your left foot on asphalt and your right on the foot on the grass for a whole minute. What? My right leg froze in the air. How much? 50 steps on asphalt and 51 on grass. You will have to cancel the previous step. <laughs> How do you imagine it? This is not the first time. You were taught how to do it. Come on! I don't remember. I'm going to burst into tears! Ah, uh, from the beginning. So. Step one. Take a step back on your foot exactly into your own trail. Wait, wait, wait. How is it? Step one. What then? So it's already the 52nd. Wait. But wait, if I'm going backwards, then 50th, it still doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, okay, 15th step, step 15th, take a step back to get your foot exactly in your trail. Could you paraphrase it uh, at least a little? 
You can't just repeat the phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. You're hopeless, aww. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, in an hour so... You'll be very, very guilty if you do not buy milk. Damn, really? So are you ready? Yes, yes. I gently changed the position of the leg, peering carefully into the thick grass. When I entered the store, I asked the very first person I met. Hello, can I... Oh. Excuse me, what? 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 Oh. You better not do it again. He is clearly not going to change his line. You run the risk of falling into an endless loop. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Oh, <laughs> my cat jumped in. I don't know if you heard her, but she meowed. <laughs> Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? What? Oh. What is he trying to tell you? Is he trying to scare me? But how does he know that I'm terrified of the letter O? What is so terrible about it? I have a frightening image as soon as I imagine it. I can show. Explain, explaining. Something like that. So I'll just keep on ignoring his question. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> what? Oh. I gather all the will into a fist. Oh. Oh. My in... I intellect, I intellect, shook and crawled. You just repeated after him, and it worked. I do it more often. Wait, I said he crawled, but did he really crawl? Cause I, I didn't even look in his direction. When exactly did you say that? Yeah, just now. Personally, I did not hear. You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words were shown on screen. I'm standing by the shelves. On the shelves, there are beds of milk. The two of us, the two of us are standing and milk lies. Or maybe... Hey, slow down. Do you even remember why you came? To buy milk. So buy. Right here? How, in your opinion, should I reply? Mm, I suppose something like not here. Not here. Take the bag and go to the cash desk. You're getting on my nerves! I guess the first sentence. And... Like... And you like to sp spit, like... Like for spit didn't make you pause before the second one. 
want to take away all my small victories? I sigh and pull my hand out to take the milk, or rather, a bag of milk inside. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. Or neither a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a Re 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 reception reception. Fifteen minutes before store store closing. Hurry up! I remember what these games are called: visual novels. And by the way, the numbers are written there in full in letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But authors are not lazy, and you don't. Be lazy too. Wait. I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore, so watch your language. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, you heard me. Hurry up, or there'll be no yeah, there'll be no good at home. <laughs> Already? Running! Hello, can, can I get milk, please? Hello, can I? You have it. Ah, give. I put the put out the wet. A, a wetly, a wetly. A a wet, huh? A wait weighty bag. At the pay desk. Of course, not just a bag, but milk, too. Hello, can I get it back, please? No. Please? No. But please, a mom will throw me out of the window if I get back without milk. No. But why not? Give. More. But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? They hate you. You're pathetic. Pay for milk. I would be thinking both of these things. Why? You are dumb and worthless. You can't even go to the store for milk. I hope mom throws you out the window. Although, even if... Even in flight, you'll think it's just a fun attraction. What are you talking about? I'm gonna do the things that, like, if I were there, that's what I would be thinking. That's how I'm gonna choose these. <laughs> I will pretend that I didn't hear it. They hate you. Why are you saying these things? I want you to die even stronger than mom. Although she doesn't even perceive you as a living creature. For her, you are just annoying dust, which randomly flies around the room. I will pretend that I didn't hear it. Oh, I think I gotta pay for the milk. I'm gonna do that one more time. Uh, why? Oops. Looks like Clara doesn't help me at all. Oops. I guess I'll try something else next time. Write down your name.
Can I write down my save name? Oh, was that the... <gasps> oh, here it is. What? Oh, it's gone. I'm not going to try and find it. I'm on my way to the store, rehearsing the speech. I haven't been out for a long time. I've forgotten what words they say when they enter the store. I'm on my way to the store. Who are you talking to? I imagine being a game character. What if it helps you... Uh, what if it helps to gather my thoughts? What game? Well, you know. There are games in which you can see characters' thoughts. Right on the screen, you know. So I thought, if somebody reads my thoughts, then I have to be really concentrated so as to not w whip up the extra ha <laughs> ha. I'm deeply breathing in. Hello, can I? Damn, I forgot. Nineteenth attempt and I'm failing again. I bite my lips with annoyance. So once again. Hello, can I get a whole word more? Thank you, I'm trying really hard. In my opinion, this time, the L sound was longer than usual. Do you think this is it? Who knows? Hello, can I? Ah, I better keep my lips sealed. Ah, oh, don't worry. Okay. Oh, by the way, you've been uh, yeah. I read that. <laughs> what? My right leg froze in the air. How much? 50 steps on asphalt and 50 on the grass. Well, you have to cancel the previous step. <laughs> uh, how do you imagine it? This is not the first time. You were taught how to do it. Come on. I... I don't remember. I'm going to burst into tears. <laughs> From the beginning. So, step one, take a step back to get your foot exactly in, in, into your own trail. Wait, wait, how is it, how, how is it, step one? What then? So, it's already the 52nd, but wait. If I'm going backwards, then 15th? Or fi 50th? I... It still doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, okay. Step 50th. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your trail. Could you paraphrase it at least a little? You can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. You're hopeless. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, so... You will be very guilty if you do not buy milk. Damn, really? So are you ready? Yes, yes. I gently change the p position of leg peering carefully into the thick grass. When I enter the store, I asked the very first person I met. Hello, can I? Oh. Excuse me, what? 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 Oh. You better not do it. He is clearly not going to change his line. You run the risk of falling into an endless loop. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? 
Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. What? Oh. What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me, but how does he know that I'm terrified of the, le the letter O? What is so terrible about it? I have a frightening image as soon as I imagine it. I can show. Explaining won't do enough. <laughs> Excuse me. Something like that. So, I'll just keep on ignoring his question. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. I gather all the will into a fist. Oh. Oh. My in interlector shook and crawled. You just repeated after him. And it worked. Do it more often. Wait. I said that he crawled, but did he really crawl? Because I didn't even look in his direction. When exactly did you say that? Yeah, just now. Personally, I did not hear. You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words are shown on the screen. I'm standing by the shelves on the shelves. There are bags of milk. The two of us are standing and milk lies, or maybe... Hey, hey, slow down. Do you even remember why you came? To buy milk. So buy. Right here? How, in your opinion, should I reply? Hmm. I suppose something like not here. I guess the first sentence. And like, for spite, like for spite, you, uh, spite didn't make a pause before the, the second one. I want to walk away with all my small victories. I sigh and pull my hand to take the milk, or rather, a bag of milk inside. Or gather, or, or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside... Reception! Reception! Fifteen minutes before store closing, hurry up! I remember what these are called, visual novels. And by the way, the numbers are written there in full, in letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But authors are not lazy there, and you don't be lazy too. Wait. I thought only your thoughts were visible on screen. Not anymore, so watch your language. <laughs> anyway, you heard me. Hurry up, or there'll be no good. Uh, there'll be no good at home. Already running. Hello, can, can I get milk, please? You have it. Uh, give. I put the uh, put on a weighty bag as the pay desk. At the pay desk, of course, not just a bag of milk, too. Hello, can I get it back, please? No. Please? No. But please, Mum will throw me out the window if I get if I get back without milk. No. But why not? Give more. But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? They hate you. Why? I will pretend I did not hear it. Why are you saying these things? 
I will pretend I did not hear it. Okay, now I'll pay for the milk this time. <laughs> oh, really? What would I do without you? I pulled a crumpled cash out of my pocket and give it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. Oh my gosh, I forgot to read the other... Uh, that's okay. <laughs> About two days have passed before he nodded. S satisfactorily. And put the cash in the machine. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm walking down a familiar street to pass a gas station. A bag of milk unpleasantly pulls away my hand, reminding me of the times I took physical therapy. By the way, they gave me a bag at, at the pay machine, so now I'm carrying a bag inside another bag. Don't get me wrong, I just like to talk- I just like the pyramidal structure of verbal constructions. A gas station is getting closer. How are you feeling? Thanks for your in insert. I feel like I feel like a mile of uh, of ice cream. What is that supposed to mean? As if I tell you. But I'm really interested. You're just a weirdo. Well, look. The the radio of water to the the ratio of water to milk in the volume of air occupied by me is about 30 to 1. I agree, it's not the tastiest ice cream unless you want to drink more than to eat. So the way from the store to the gas station is a stick and the way to the gas station to home is ice cream. For today's walk, my body will be in every part of this way. Simple maths. Okay. I feel movement under my feet. Asphalt, grains, pe petrol stains. I'm trying to keep my balance on how do people move on something so uneven as the, the, uh, as the urban plane. Neat. In neat heel sock. I count every meter of the way I've gone. I even close my eyes for more concentration. Hey, watch out! Ah! Uh, I, I unconsciously take a sharp step aside. At the same moment, a huge bear sweeps past me with a wild ripple. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm throwing a stumbling peek at the rapidly moving animal. Its red eyes, in turn, look at me with a- with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen! It was a trick. Oh, really? Although, if you think about it, are there bears with eyes on the back of their head? You might have died. Come on, how are you saying someone will seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? Are you sick? The world is cruel and dangerous. I'm not in the world you're talking about. My path continues. If you think about it, the way from the store has one interesting poetry. In the most bizarre ways, it adjusts to me. When I hurry, all the traffic lights are servantfully extinguished. When I want to cry, a cloud appears and pours rainfall that hide my tears. Right now, I feel that the cloud is slowly gathering over my top. I'm sad. Are you sure all this is really happening? And how else? 
Have you never been visited by the idea that all this is only in your head? Dut, dut, dut. The instructions did not say that at all. Apparently, these pills don't work on me either. Pills have nothing to do with it. Please, I just want to go home and go to bed. I am really, really grateful to you, but please, no more. Okay. You know what? What? Since I am a character in a visual novel, I want to talk to whoever is reading right now. As you say, this can affect your recovery in a wrong way. I squeeze my head with the hands and set a thought block. With the edge of my eyes, I notice a small bench. A great place for... Clitched visual novel monologues. I'm getting closer, but not incredibly... In, not, but... but in closer, putting a noticeably heavy bag of milk nearby and raising my head to the sky. Oh, what a beautiful day. Listen. I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> I understand I'm going crazy. Uh, drugs are working less and less effectively, so... Ultimately, things will happen painlessly, I hope. Do you understand what I'm talking about? <gasps> yeah, I do. Oh wait, I'm gonna make it capital. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yes. Really? I must be, I must be quite unlike an exponary protagonist, right? To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it because I need to know a lot of, uh, I need, I, I need a lot of effort just to distinguish letters and words. By the way. If you don't mind, wouldn't I, I wouldn't like to say my diagnosis. Let me at least let at let at least you, the one who sees me as I am, even if I may made you up. Don't take it away from me, okay? Don't ask me too much. Don't don't ask about me too much. How stupid is all this? From the very beginning, you followed me, read my deluge, d delusional thoughts, heard my stupid conversations. Maybe I seem crazy and, and weird to you. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I really relate. <laughs> what is it like to see the world with my eyes? Ever since <laughs> something happened, I only see red everywhere. No, don't worry about me. I've been used to it for a long time. To be honest, I even forgot what other colors look like. Let me go! <laughs> oh, those monsters from the store, they... didn't scare me. At all, because, because I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think they're the ones who are scared. Can you imagine it? By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Do you promise? Yes. I do, I do, I promise. I promise. Really? Do you promise? I do. I'll put, I do. I do promise, I do, I do. I like capital letters better.
I'm serious. Of course you couldn't not ask to. What? In the end, I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later, I would have to raise this topic. Whatever. Raise this topic. So, you're really wondering what happened to me. Oh, well, I mean, you don't- you, you didn't want to talk about it, so... That's fine. You don't have to talk about it. I won't take time. What do you see? The ground? Bloop, bloop, bloop. How do you spell ground? G R <laughs> R G R O N D ground. Gr yeah, ground. Okay. Are you sure? Maybe. One way or another, this is my dad. Oh. Oh, okay, I think. Some of his parts, at least. Well... Uh, oh, uh, we, we do have a very difficult family. But despite all the problems, I would never have thought... Sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. Uh, in general, he threw himself out the window and died. This is my last memory. Then, a long gap. Strange, very strange. Today is the first time I've been able to buy something from the store without a serious incident. Of course, the medicine helped me, however. I think it's more of your merit. I was thinking all the time, do not screw up in front of the reader, or oh my god, what will he think? <laughs> I don't know why I decided to become a character in a visual novel for the sake of going to the store today, but it has clearly borne fruit. Thank you. By the way, I think there's some frameworks in your communication. Like, uh, uh, that that's how I like it. <laughs> frameworks. Frameworks and communication. What does that mean? Framework. And yet... I'm so sad lately. I think more and more about what my life has become ever since Dad... Well, you understand. Day after day, it's the same. I've tried so many pills that I can't feel different. It can't feel difference between them anymore. As long as they keep keep me on my feet, I'm happy. <laughs> but you know what? Today is a special day because I have you. I want to tell you. So it was very rude of you, huh? <gasps> no. Oh no. I will not press you. I just advise you, go home. I understand. Well, dear reader, let's go. I step on my floor and hang on the railing. Repeating this action every day like a ritual, I stopped being afraid of heights. A few minutes ago, the pills finally came came tonight, so I just I'm just enjoying blissful silence. When I'm under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant m melodies sound in my head, mixing with the sounds of the world around me. They create a terrible d d dissonance in my head. I turn around and go to my apartment. Hey.
Hello. Did you bring milk? Hi, Mom. Did you bring milk? Yes, Mom. Did you y your new medicine? <laughs> I'm trying to read it before he <laughs> comes out. Did your new medicine help? Yes, Mom. Go to bed. Yes, Mom. Oh, was that it? Ooh, jukebox. Whoa, there's two. Oh, that's cool! I got all the music here! <gasps> I like the music in this. Album 2. Menu music. Corridors! Love music. Firefly. Ooh, I like this one. Bow, wow. Eye music? Death music? Are there... Controls, options. What's under options? <laughs> oh, hey, let's change the language. I'm just kidding. How many endings are there? Oh, wait, what's this one? Because that one looks a little different. I'm going to stretch. Ooh! Whoa! <gasps> oh! They're counting the steps they take. The store's closing soon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, is this like, um,. A little animation with it? Oh, that's so neat! It looks so good! Oh! Hello, can I? Whenever I buy something, I always gotta check three times that I put my money back in my wallet, or like my card. Won't take much time. What do you see? Are you sure? Anyway, it's...
Peekaboo. I'm walking to my room, trying not to look around. Playful shadows dance around me here, and there, they dash all over the walls, the ceiling. One of those shadows whizzes past me, touching my face over so slight, ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, playing it in, it, paying it no mind. Sometimes it's easy to lose self-control and, and track of time, spinning in a joyful dance. But I'm in a bit of a hurry here. Mom told me to go to bed. I walk past the kitchen on the way to my room. The door is shut, but I can still feel the chilling air coming from the other side. My first thought is that there's a living corpse blowing it into a keyhole, laughing mockingly. Ah! <laughs> That's so silly! I'm absurd! I, I, I'm ab 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 absolutely sure we have no corpses in our kitchen. I know for sure that we've never had any corpse in our kitchen. I'm absolutely sure that... I break into a running, uh, into a run dash toward the closed door. The shadows intensif intensify their chaotic dance. Are they trying to stop me or, or calm me down? I, I don't know. It doesn't matter right now. Don't you get it? I wave my hand around as I run, trying to chase away the annoying per 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 pursuers. But then I suddenly realize that I won't be able to stop in time. I've got no other choice but to break the door down. If there's somebody inside, I'll, sh I I'll, I'll surely scare them to death. But wait, how can I scare to death someone who's already dead? What if it actually revives them? No, 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 no. I, I don't want that. I. What do I do? I couldn't fully complete my thought when my shoulder hit the door and it flew open. As I expected, there was no living corpse inside, but there was a bag of milk I bought today, sitting right in the middle of the table, watching me with unblinking eyes. I stare back, nothing happens. Although, what exactly did I expect? Gratitude? Have I done something that warranted it? A, a bag of milk probably doesn't care whether it's on the shelf or in a store, or on the table in my mom's kitchen. On the other hand, nobody would drink milk inside the store, which means... I took it from the safe, safest place in the world and into the scary unknown. I'm so sorry, you poor thing. I turn away in shame and leave the room in a hurry. I only bring others trouble. I walk toward my room through a narrow corridor. Mom! I meet a familiar formless creature at the door, it it locks me in its clutches and starts s s sniffing everything. And it's sniffing every inch of my body like a hungry dog. I'm not struggling. I know it's useless. I just stay silent and endure it. I endure it. It's tight grip that stops me from moving. After sniffing me from head to toe, the creature holds out a, its ugly paws and brings a single claw, thin and sharp like a blade. Again? I stare questioningly into the monster's bottomless eye sockets. 
don't move. The creature squeezes my hands until my veins start to bul bulging, and I just keep staring into the black cavities where its eyes should be, ignoring all pain. I promise so many times, stay put. The moment it says that it's the, the moment it, it says that it's claws piercing my arm, I don't feel anything other than the barely discernible crawling under my skin and the ring of tightly sprung sinews. But then, then the claw injects its venom into me. It hurts. A wild, a, 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 a white vein appears in front of my eye, in front of my finger, fingers cramp and start twitching. Uh, frantically, I lose control over my body and slowly slide to the floor, just like last time, but... Why do I feel so hot? I feel my blood boiling up. Strong shivers run through my body, paralyzing every single cell while my veins and arthritis heat up, almost bursting from that pressure. I try screaming, but instead of pro producing words, I vomit thick milky foam. The creature notices it and throws itself at me in anger, grabbing me by the throat while keeping the poisonous claw inside my arm. Me. Hysterical screams re 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 resound re resound through the corridor. In a fit of madness, the creature starts scratching my neck. Bright splashes fly everywhere, hitting the walls with a loud sound. I try to imprint everywhere. Uh, uh, imprint where every drop fell in my memory so I could gather them all later. I need to remember, I need a new wave of pain washes over me. Everything turns pitch black and in an instant say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. I say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. Say it again. I'll never drink milk ever again. I'll never drink milk ever again. I finally get to my room. I'm so tired of all the uh, all this fuss. Thankfully, I still feel comfy and warm in my room. Even the weird sounds coming from the outside didn't make me anxious at all. Mom told me to go to bed, so I need so I need to perform all the needed preparations. I've washed my face, and now I'm standing in front of the mirror with a toothbrush in my mouth. I look at my reflection, it shows absolutely no desire to sleep. Yeah, I get how you feel. And there was a time when the last minutes before I sleep sleep were my favorite time, but the day I... but... Uh, 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 the last minutes before I sleep were my favorite time of the day. I loved anticipating the inevitable moment when the reality and the dream world would clash. I woke up from that moment's sake, lived, lived through the day for it. My biggest dream was to sleep all day long. It would have been so cool, but the dreams always slowly but surely slip away. As if somebody finished them out of my head, one after another, one after another, ah, uh, until nothing was left. And now I have to sleep again, even though I didn't feel any need uh, for it.
After finishing with my face, I usually reach out for my pills. It's funny, but I have no idea how they work s separately since I always swallow them as, as a bunch without thinking. Now, I want to have a better look at it to, to twirl in between my fingers to chew on it. I'd do anything to stall for just a little bit more time. A smooth, pro, 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 produced red capsule is looking at me. It's covered in a murky, semi-transparent -trans film, but I can, but, but I can still discern its continents. So, what do we have inside you? I gently press on the capsule from both sides. And to my surprise, it turns out to be soft and squishy. I press harder, and the capsule pops. Sticky, bright red liquid pours out. Filthy, filthy! The pill flies straight to the wall, to to the waste bin, and I start r religiously washing my hands. No, there's no way I'm drinking that. Next was the flat pill of the same blood red color. There was some letters printed out on it. Oh, I get it. This is the medicine that makes me really sleepy, but it's not the type of sleep I want. That's that, that's not, not it at all. It's fake. No, 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 no. I don't even want to look at it. The pill flies into the waste bin as well. The next half hour goes by in a similar fashion. I study every pill from all sides, and then I find a reason not to swallow it. I, 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 invent, I invent my own medicine instead and enjoy swallowing them one after another, letting myself drown in their healing effects. Hey, my neck doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my hand doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my head doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my heart doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my eyes don't hurt anymore. How come I didn't think of this earlier? This is so simple, I need to brag about it to someone right away. But not to my mom. She'll just scold me. And she's sure I are, uh, I'm already sleeping anyway. I don't want to disturb her without reason. It'll... I I'll think of something myself. Besides, I just really want some small talk. I wonder who's going to be in... Be, be my conversation partner. Hey... A long time no see. It hasn't been in. It hasn't even been an hour, dummy. You know we're only supposed to meet once per day, right? There you go, bullying me again. Oh, I thought it was like dummy as in like, oh you you silly. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> Aren't you even a little bit happy? Not even the slightest bit? No, I'm pretty exhausted after today. Well, I guess you are too. That's not true. You need to go to bed. No, you've been in control for, for way too long already. It's my turn now, alright? I'll just stay silent until the medicine effects wear off. How about that? Hey, you can't do that. You need to do your best to make me feel better. That's exactly what I'm doing. What a bully. Actually, why am I even worried about this? In reality, I don't need you at all. I'm so energetic and I feel great. 
Which means I can do anything, and you? You can only watch and analyze over your uselessness. Oh. <laughs> I can imagine how angry you are right now. Yeah. I am all... I I'm all beside myself. What made you so happy all of a sudden? And why would I be sad? Remember yourself a couple hours ago? I don't know what you mean. Stop lying. Oh, wait, that's the only thing I can say. Well, I'll do the middle one. Nah, uh I still don't understand. Whatever, unlike you, I won't forget that path pathetic study girl for... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Whatever. Unlike you, I won't forget the pathetic snotty girl from a long- for, for a long time. She just whines and whines all the time. I didn't even try running my mood. That, don't even try ruining my mood. I want to have fun while, you, while we're together, alright? So you're the one calling the shots now. Yeah. Well, let's see how long you can last. We'll see, yeah. I... Am I really that pathetic? Say something! I can feel tears streaming down my cheeks, hanging from my chin, and then falling on my clothes, burning holes in them. That was fast, but not unexpected. Hey, at least I tried. Go wash your face, then we'll decide what to do with you. I'm in front of a mirror again. I keep staring at my reflection, trying not to get... Uh, distracted by the scenery is by the sneery looks on the walls are giving me trying to not to drown in their giggling but then but but then me in the mirror also show me a creepy smile bears her teeth at me I shut my eyes but that doesn't help it would have helped even if I snuck through the floor I started c counting in my mind two square two squares two by two squares a square squared a square pyramid squared by squared p pyramid squared a pyramid structure cubed a pyramid structure hypercubed I feel better but my head is splitting apart now how do you feel Sorry for being rude. It's not your fault. It's never your fault. Fine, you can keep on blaming yourself, but don't overdo it. I... I don't know why, but... I thought I'd be able to take control while I was almost ready to. I was sure I'd be able to change something. After all, I was able to buy milk, you know? Yeah, you ought to know how challenging it was. Is that why you threw away the medicine? What a stupid decision, right? Undoubtedly. Whatever it was, it was your decision. Does it even matter? Yes. No. And what do you think? I can't be sure about anything, and you don't take me seriously anyway. Then why did you do that? I feel like I'd be able to fight, f f fight in my own. It's true, the pain's subsides for a bit at that time, but now I feel a... Uh, 
triple, it, feel it triple in force. It hurts so bad. Just drink your medicine already, or I'll stop talking to you. You know what to do. Dejected, I reached out for the shelf with my medicine. I swallow the pills one after another, chasing away the unpleasant visions that keep floating in my memory. And yet, my mind still draws a terrified picture, lumps of clotted blood in transparent coating travel down my esophagus, scratching its soft walls, leaving behind furrows. I shake my head violently. I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worse my or worsens my pain. I just don't want to think about something so repulsive. You still haven't changed? What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone. This worries you much more than pain. Yeah, I guess. I toss the last pill into the air and catch it in with my mouth. I lie on the floor, I look at the ceiling. I can clearly hear water running in the metal pipes up here. I hear the cracking of concrete blocks that will someday surely fall on my head. But I'm not afraid of that at all. I can't imagine my death coming from above. Rather, it's reaching its claws from somewhere below, below, waiting for me to lose focus. Do you want, do you want to talk about it? No, I've had enough talking. What do you want then? I just want to lie down for a bit. Even if the ceiling is bound to collapse, it won't be today. carefully extract thoughts that are yet to be carefully formed from my head and lay them out on the ceiling in orderly rows. Now it's my... Now it's my corkboard. In hopes of seeing the whole picture, I switch them from one place to another, pile them on top of each other, scatter them around. In the end, I throw them off with my hand, annoyed, and I start over. I can't do it. You can always imagine your thoughts as something small and, and swarming like a uh, cockroaches. Ew, I hate cockroaches. I can't even make them fireflies? I don't mind either way. Little fireflies. Never seen a firefly. I don't even have the time to blink before my thoughts, they're fireflies now, start whirling all over my ceiling uh, of, of their own accord, forming whimsical patterns. I can only observe them and wait for the right moment. It's just, that moment doesn't come. The mocking sounds of flapping wings coming from the ceiling make me start make me start losing my patience. Enough! I hate you. I spring to my feet and scream at the top of my lungs. The fireflies scatter. Nice job, now start over! 
No way. Unstable behavior makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. So, that doesn't bother you? Should, should it? No. Yeah, no. No. A lot of people act like this. Really? There's nothing shameful about snapping at someone if you have a reason for that. You did have a reason, didn't you? You'll surely get better, believe me. And now, start over. <laughs> You're at it again. What do you mean? Never mind. And I've changed my mind anyway. Please don't st don't stay silent for this long anymore. I'm having a hard time without your help. Fine. I raise my eyes and look at the ceiling once more. Sadly, all my fireflies seem to have hidden somewhere. I need to find them. Forget about them and go to bed. Well, they said don't be silent. No. You don't get it. If I'm thinking about something, I need to finish my thought or else... I glance around the room. There are too many places for creatures as small as a firefly to hide here. They can be anywhere. Suddenly, I hear a deafening ramble. The clock just hit midnight. It's so late already, but I can't go to bed right now. Will you help me? Please, tell me, will you help me? Come on, stop fooling me. You, you promised to talk to me. What were you thinking while lying on the floor? What do you mean? You should know. You should know it better than anyone else. That's the thing. I have no idea. This is weird. Well, I don't want to say that. Instead of asking silly questions, help me find my fireflies. To be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me neither. I guess we'll have to tear the whole place apart. No, 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 and no. If I even make the smallest mess here, I feel really bad. All the things should stay in their place, and that's it. Why? Are you trying to come up with a reason right now? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I don't, and I won't. Alright then, so we need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk, uh, without moving anything, even an inch. Yes. My oh my. I have an idea. Last time becoming a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal, now I want to become a point and click adventure game character. You know. The games have movement, uh, have have moments when you just look at different objects and something inevitably happens. It sounds so fun. And what about the thing, things you use regularly? Do you refuse to touch them as well? It would make it even more interesting. This is so childish. And want to know what's the best part? You'll be the one doing it. Oh no! Oh yes. I start... Uh, I start panicking as soon as I get in a multiple choice situation. I'll just keep changing my mind and end up crying and running away. Do you want that to happen? You're such a handful. You've already proven that you were able to make decisions. Why not continue on that road? What do you want? To go 
to the middle of the room and look around where I would hide if I were a tiny firefly. Ah, oh, this is so thrilling. My heart gets warmer from the pleasant anticipation. Hey. What? Look down. I looked down after a moment of a small, a, a small ball of light and warmth crawls out from under my sweater. Wow, wee! Wowie! There's smoke coming from your clothes. Wow, wee! Oh, hello, no firefly. I carefully grab the firefly. It pleasantly. Scorch, scorching the touch, I put it in my shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come home now. As if it was an older, it was an older. Oh, as if it was an order. <laughs> the firefly slowly drifts up, circles around my head for a bit. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And then flies into my ear with the speed of a bullet. <laughs> it tickles. One down. Let's see. Let's look for the others. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. oh I guess that means it. Your usual notebook pages glued to the wall with uh, duct tape. N numbers are drawn on them. This is only kind the only kind of information I can take in without trouble. Do 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 said do, dosage and side effects. Yeah, I thought you knew them by heart. Yeah. Hold on, it's a little chilly in here. I'm gonna go get a blankie. I'll be right back. <laughs> now I probably gotta go fix myself, right? <laughs> Maybe. No, yes. Da, da, da. This is not your handwriting, isn't it? Of course it's not. Shaky broken lines, ugly numbers, it's not your writing. It's not like, uh, claw marks. Don't forget to thank your mom. I don't need your advice. My scream makes the pages wrestle r r restlessly after a moment of, uh, a moment of firefly appears from underneath one of them. After looking around a, a business-like manner, it takes off into a business-like light and ends up entering my business-like ear. Hey, let's continue searching. What do we look at next? Are you serious? What's wrong? Just think about it. 
Why would fireflies be attracted to light? I think they're quite self-sufficient already in that regard. Well, only if they pur 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 purposefully want to lower their self-esteem. Hmm. <laughs> What's so funny about that? I imagine myself being a firefly that is looking straight at the giant fan. And? I'd be so jealous. The only thing preventing it from flying is a cage. It's locked, it's locked in and the cable. It's like an, it's like an Im imminent, in in inmate. If you think about it, it's so sad. Yeah. Let's continue searching. Boom 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 boom. <laughs> this is my sleeping bag. It's soft and warm. I'm sure that no living creature would be able to resist the temptation of spending a minute or two inside. They'd want to dig deep into it with a couple of favorite items, close their eyes, and then... Hey, did you fall asleep? Huh? I gently slapped my cheeks and returned myself to... to, to to senses. I already- uh, it's already way past midnight. Usually I'd be asleep like a log at this time, but right now I can't. Let's continue searching. Hey, maybe we'll find something inside. Nah. My thoughts don't even have a, uh, have a future of putting to sleep. Quite the contrary, they always cause insomnia, just like tonight. Okay? Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. This is my sketchbook. Half of its pages are blank, which means it'll still be good for a couple of years. You draw that rarely. Why? Isn't that obvious? If I run out of pages, I'll have to buy a new sketchbook. I know, right? <laughs> I can't get to the stationery store on foot. I'll have to take the bus. Do you even realize what kind of nightmare that could turn into? Well, maybe you can ask your mom to buy one. I get closer to the sketchbook, stepping over the wires in, in sleeping bag. The cracks on the uh, in the laminates and the window's reflection. The sketchbook is lying on the f uh, on the stool. From my height, they seem like the stool is missing two legs. I squat and look again. All the legs are in place. Will I be able to think of an interesting allegory? Oh. Let's not go there, okay? I stand up, studying the sketchbook from inches away. Its pages are pure white. The last drawing is buried on the previous page the way it should be. Too bad, I'd love to see it. Maybe next time. A sudden gust of chilly wind breaks into the room and makes the pages rustle. Oh no! I shut my eyes. A d distinctive sound of pages turning uh, echoes with a with, with headache a, in my head. I know what's going to happen. The rustling has stopped, even though the wind is still howling from every direction. I can only mean... It can only mean the notebook is open on the first page. 
If I wait a little longer, the wind will close it. I won't have to look. If I wait a little longer... If I wait... Open your eyes. No. It's okay, just do it. No way. I know you're lying. Calm down. No. Calm down. No. Calm down. No! Calm down! No! Calm down! Calm down! Fine. I open my eyes with utmost caution. The notebook is still open in the middle. No drawings, nothing. The pages are still pure white. Did I imagine it? I don't know, did you? <laughs> did you hear that? No, I didn't hear that. Did I? I don't know. <laughs> You're the smart one here, and you tell me. Next time, don't close your eyes. What, did you? I couldn't finish speaking because the pages started moving again. Don't close your eyes. Don't make me do it, I'm scared. Trust me. The wrestling grows louder. The pages lift up. I can almost see the outlines of drawings on the uh, on previous pages. No way! Everything is that that is in the past should stay in the past. You couldn't convince me that it that 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 it's. I'm closing my eyes. Look! Look there! A barely visible light seeps through the pages with every every new gust it becomes brighter and brighter a firefly the wind immediately stops for a moment to the the world sinks in into perfect silence but only for a moment the buzz that has always been haunting me fills the sorrow surroundings but it doesn't matter now Goodness gracious, little boy! You made me so scared! The firefly blinks... Flies, fl flies up and enters my ear, buzzing loudly all the way. It spends some time looking for the... It spends some time looking for the perfect spot in my head, but then buzz the, the buzzing dies down. Phew! Are you okay? We're running short on time, but let's continue searching. We'll look at the backpack. I look down the, my school bag, worn down and s silly. I is almost screaming of its own uselessness. From another angle, it looks like a full belly. Its con con contents are so regurgitating, re re de decomposing, and turning into a sticky, mushy substance. What a cool image. I need to remember this. Totally not cool. Totally not cool. Senseless and cruel. Tell me, what's inside your bag? Uh, what? Inside? Instead? Nothing special. Mostly just all the sorts of books. I've taken out all the pens and notebooks out, out of there, and I'm not interested in anything else. You need to go to school. Didn't you? Oh, you used to go to school, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I had a blast all the way. Are you sure you understand my question? Do you think everything in my life should be doom and gloom? Well, you're wrong. Alright, alright. Uh, what do you like the most there? Hmm... Well, the rooms were really bright, and not like at home. That's it? 
don't rush me, let me remember. Well, the beds were also soft, and the food was nice. By the way, I intended all the classes. The... The, the others always skipped. They probably got told off so hard. I smiled gently and absorbed a, uh, uh, absorbed in warm memories. You never graduated, though. Yeah. Do you remember your last day there? It was a normal day. Dad picked me up earlier than usual. He told me that I'm already too old for the school cu curriculum. I also realized that some time ago, the, the tests were way too easy. Then we got in the car and went home. Mom greeted us there. We had dinner and went to our rooms. And what happened then? I guess that day has absolutely no special meaning for you. I don't remember, and it doesn't even matter. Okay. Good. I look at my bag again, light pouring into the room through the window, glint on the metal parts, and there's a shadow underneath it, which means it's real... It's real, sadly. Whatever, I don't care anyway. I almost end up kicking the bag in a fit of sudden anger, but I managed to, to stop myself in the nick of time. If I move even an inch, the whole picture will collapse, and I'll go blind. It has already happened countless times. What do you mean you'll go blind? Oh, gonna stretch. I've spent months memorizing the locations of everything in my room. That's why I can see them so clearly and vividly. You won't get it. Looks at your feet. I look down and see a small insect is crawling toward me from the uh, from my bag. It's barely glowing and I can't and it can't even fly. I guess this firefly is really tired. I bend down to pick it up. The firefly starts glowing brightly as soon as I touch it and then flies up. There you go, boy. Good job. After doing a victory lap around the room, it flies toward me with a high speed. I shut my eyes, anticipating the firefly to enter my ear. That's exactly what happened after it gets inside. It buzzes a little, wh a little while, and then goes silent. This one is kind of sad. I wonder why. It doesn't matter. What matters is that it it's no longer alone. Uh, sure, let's continue searching. Oh, finish searching? Sure. I've managed to gather my thoughts, but something still worries me. On the other hand, I wasn't supposed to be happy anyway. Why not? If I lose something and then find it, it's not just going back to to the starting point no changes at all a, a zero sum and happiness is always about being positive right you shouldn't think too much about uh, too much it hurts you i want to sleep how could you get some fresh air before sleeping how about you get some fresh air before sleeping what do you mean well go to the balcony uh, breathe in some air. Somehow, these words triggered a panic attack in me. I subconsciously step away from the balcony. I don't think it's a good idea. Why? 
This may sound silly, but... I feel like someone is watching me. Alright, let's stay here. There's no way somebody cares about you that much. Yeah. What are you going to do? What's with the silly question? I'm going to sleep, of course. Hoping that tomorrow will only come after a year or a decade. Imagining myself to be outside of my mortal shell, but at the same time, still being me. Ridiculous. Like the milk outside of the ba bag of milk, and yet... And yet? You don't have to talk out loud for me to understand, and you, you, you're worried about me. I know that already. I also know that our time is running short. You won't take another pill? Of course not. In fact, I won't take it tomorrow either. And the day after tomorrow, and never ever. That's a goodbye, then. No. I have one more sh small favor to ask. A, a really, a really small one. What is it? I blurted out way too much today. A, a lot of stuff I, I'd want to forget forever. I don't blame you, but... Was it really necessary? You'll see tomorrow. No, I won't be able to sleep like this. Fine. What's the favor? I, um... I nervously scratch my wrist and bite on my lower lip. Wait a minute. You're afraid to tell me? Yes. I'm also... I, 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 I'm also scared that something bad might happen if I tell you. I'm also scared that when something happens, something bad happens, something way worse will happen. Stop it, I, I get it already. Still, I won't leave you alone until you tell me. Bully. No, you! Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna get a drink. But what do I drink, eh? I don't know. I'll have good old water. Oh. Now I gotta fix myself. <laughs> Bloop. Oh wait, again. Boop. Bop. <laughs> I crawl into my sleeping bag. The lower part of the room is very cold. I hurry to wrap myself in blankets, even though the electric heater is working hard to keep me warm. I'm sad because the dreams just won't come anymore. You won't believe me if I tell you how I, how I dealt with it at, at first. Of course I'll believe you. You know, it was a joke. I, I know it was a joke. Uh, well anyway. I washed my face, brushed my teeth, lied down, and started imagining that I'm watching a dream. I didn't sleep at all, of course, and always looked uh, sleepy in the morning. After a week of insomnia, I started feeling weird and seeing things. That is floating in the air, strange silhouettes that appear in the most unexpected places, bulging eyes with trembling pale pupils. It was scary, you know. 
Then one day, I almost died. I just collapsed in the middle of the room and couldn't move for a while. And then, silhouettes, sil silhouettes, letters, and my eyes were hanging over, over me and hissing. It was horrible. And well-deserved, I guess. It felt like I was caught on the biggest lie in the world. Yes, it felt exactly like that. After that, I stopped. But the silhouettes, uh, letters, and eyes stayed here. I guess they're like... They, they like this place. They always follow me in my... It, it, uh, <laughs> I've done so much reading. <laughs> That's okay, though. They always follow in my wake, peeping at me, and I'm kind of scared of them and can't even argue with them. But today... Today... Well... I... They're still too scared to tell me. Of course, they're, they're, they're still listening, you know? Use your hands. Alright. I start ch chat 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 chatically twirling my fingers with enthusiasm, forming complex shapes. You want me to tell you a bedtime story? Shh. And I was trying so hard here. Don't you get it? They'll hear you. Relax, nobody can hear you. So, what do you say? I'd be happy too, but I have no idea how to tell them. Oh, it's incredibly easy. Just talk about something without stopping. Sounds silly, but it's not. And meaningless. You don't know what you're talking about. I know enough to realize that we'll just end up wasting time. Let's focus on something actually important. Boring. Fine. Close your eyes. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh. I wake up and immediately lose consciousness from horror. A thin metal stairway snakes around a giant column, disappearing into the darkness. I press myself into the cold wall and pray that I... that I... Freeze into it. This feeling, I know I've spent a couple of hours or days here, but I don't know how the column is. I don't know whether I'm going up or down. Whoa. Hug. <laughs> a billion pounds of concrete and a million miles of emptiness it's impossible to stay to, to stay sane when you're near cosmic numbers like that looking at them touching them even thinking of them makes me feel unimaginable horror it was just a matter of time before my short term here will end my mind will melt and my body will turn into dust. The wall's coarse surface scratches my face and steps under my feet, hum from the wind, eager to escape the con con concrete clutches and dive into the abyss along with me, but I'll stay here. I'll stay here without going anywhere. I won't even open my mouth. I 
my every word will be swallowed by the abyss. I won't take a single step. Why would I? To find out where the stairway... Stairway abrupt ends? It's all meaningless. Many units of time passed, but I'm still unmoving. My whole body is trembling. But then I realize it's the whole space around me that is trembling. I can't wait to destroy it. I can't wait. I can't wait to destroy me. Oh, it! Oh my goodness. It can't wait to destroy me. Maybe I should gather my will and at least turn my head. That thought doesn't stay in my head for long. It turns out with inhuman force, uh, unaware of what's about to happen, I slowly turn my whole body with a squeak. No. That's not what I wanted. Don't! Oh, hey, one of them is the mom, and then the letter O. And then I don't know what the other one is. Almost this silence singing a lonely colus colus unmoving until the music stops and brings across the dark abyss cannot be seen. Whoa, there's a whole bunch of them now. Oppressive, thick, sticky air drives itself into my ears, uh, silencing my thoughts with a haph haphazard string of words while I watch the scene before me unfold. Hundreds of giant concrete structures, just like mine, spread in the in tiny rows, endlessly in all directions. Stairways wrap around them like veins. There, at the end of this world, there's a person smiling. This world still exists, but all that makes. Yeah, all, all that makes it both exist and not. I try to erect a mind block, but to no avail. My brain is already at the mercy of the superstructure. A moment passes, and I realize that my body doesn't belong to me either anymore. My legs start moving on their own. The only thing I can do is choose the direction, up, down, or... The crowd notices blood on Wiz... 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 hands. He runs away. M M Mendel appears. He has nothing... He human about him. Apart from his... eggs. A a excessive grace and hidden elegance. He walks out to the certain center of the stage. First act begins. Foreign thoughts become even more in in incoherent. There's less and less space for my own. Do you feel the connection to your body clearly, or does it still cause confusion or fear? If, you, if you've been living through that fear a lot recently, but how did it manifest exactly? Answer honestly, don't hide anything.
I decided to descend. Descend. You can have a sneaking suspicion that something is wrong because your path has changed. Maybe you start t talking in a wrong way or maybe some sort of mistake. If so, start getting used to your new life. Try creating an Im 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 imaginary uh, that would... that would inst install the the feeling that everything is as it is as it should be and with time it will create new order inside you i don't doubt that you're going through some hard times but you have to make sacrifices growing up only then you'll be able to obtain the meaning of life do you get it try that if you if you find it important if you find it important. Every passing day is a precious gift. If you share a piece of that gift with the world, even once, it'll seem like speaking, uh, like, like a speck of dust. Do you get it? No, I'm sorry. I won't get that then. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? Yes. Even you, yes, even you get it. When you notice how people look at themselves in the mirror, when you look at your own reflection, you realize that it exists in reality. Do you understand how e exactly it exists? Inside a bag of milk, inside a bag of milk, and outside a bag of milk, of milk, outside a bag of milk. Oh, is that the end? Wow. This was a good game. <laughs> wow. I like this. I thought some things were pretty relatable. Uh... But there was a lot of reading. <laughs> That's okay. I read better in my head than I do out loud. Which, I don't know, I was, I was a little worried about doing games where there's reading. But, like, a lot of games have reading. <laughs> but, yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is... This is a good game. I like it. <laughs> well, thank you for coming and watching. <gasps> bye bye.